Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Uh, since uh, our MC said that you come and give an opening welcome address, I think the event has already been open. And I can just say everyone is welcome and go back to my seat. But I value each and everyone here beyond just telling you you are welcome. Uh, especially our participants that have taken time to write this essay for the purpose of enriching their knowledge and the knowledge of the Ummah. So for our distinguished participants, which are our children, our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our aunties, oh no aunties and children I think. Anyway, your effort is most appreciated and we hope Allah will continue to enrich you with more knowledge that is beneficial to the Ummah. To our distinguished guests that have made time to join us for this 18th International Muslim Youth ASA Writing Competition, we are deeply honored to have you. Um, but just to give you a little background on how we got here. Uh, Crystal Muslim Organization started way back in 2006 as Right Muslim Organization, Right with a W. And um, Alhamdulillah, the intent then was basically to encourage Muslim youth to cultivate the habit of writing, which appears to be dying in our society. Um, we started in Lagos, and Alhamdulillah, today we are in eight states in Nigeria, and we have received entries from as far as the United States of America, and uh, Belgium, Sudan, a number of countries. So that's why we changed the name now when we went to the CAC for registration to Crystal Muslim Organization, and the AC competition became international because we do receive international entries. The term Crystal, which in many fora have been called Christian Muslim Organization. Some people think it's a, a hybrid of Muslim, Christian, or in an interfaith organization. But we tell them, no, we, we all know the meaning of crystal, something very clear, which we see Islam, that is what Islam is. It's crystal clear. There is no impurity in Islam. The same thing, crystal. So that is why we maintain that name, Crystal Muslim Organization. That is a clear Muslim. And our primary goal is to educate the Muslim community and the non-Muslim community on the values of Islam. Those salient things that you need to go through the pages of book to find. And by so doing, we feel we should also encourage our writers by giving them some incentives. And Alhamdulillah, in the past years, we've even presented Hajj seat to, to, to uh, some of our winners. Uh, though now Allah has not made that possible, but we have not given up. Uh, I'm sure as time goes on, maybe somebody will donate a Hajj seat for us on annual basis. Before we were enjoying that from the National Hajj Commission, prior to the change of the, the, the chair, leadership, exactly. So, and apart from ACA writing competition, we do carry out other activities such as uh, uh, the Crystal Talk, which is an Islamic mentorship uh, activity we, we introduced in CMO. The Crystal Talk is supposed to bring mentorship activity into what we do, how we, those that we consider societal-wise, have been able to, to grow up the ladder. Instead of just you alone being up there in the ladder, how do you encourage the Muslim community, the Muslim youth, into becoming what you have been able to achieve by sharing guidance? So we have Crystal Talk 
That's one of those activities we do in Crystal Muslim Organization. And, and um, as you will see from the role of Bayana also, the Zakah Fund. Alhamdulillah, we have the Zakah Fund also. Uh, you will realize that as a Muslim, when you start an organization like this, that you may start up with just one noble idea that my focus will be X. Then you will see that in the Ummah, you can't just say your focus is X because some challenges are interrelated. So you have to devise a means of addressing those little interrelated challenges as best as possible uh, as Allah will enable you to do. So we started the Zakah Fund administration where we collect Zakah from well-meaning Nigerians, pull it together and distribute it in line with the Islamic tenets. But this time around, we followed through with uh, like a supervision of the beneficiaries, ensuring that they are able to use that money in the way they told us they are going to use it with the hope that that little token will help them pull them out of that uh, poverty threshold they have found themselves. Or those that are challenged uh, by medical uh, uh, or health issues, including scholarship. I think right now we have about 300 or so orphans uh, in eight states of Nigeria benefiting from Crystal Muslim Organization Zaka Scholarship. And um, we have empowered no fewer than 2,000 people uh, in, in, in terms of uh, uh, job and uh, skill acquisition. Uh, we also have um, the Crystal Muslim Directorate of Social Welfare. The Directorate of Social Welfare is focused in uh, carrying out visits to, to hospitals, to cemeteries, to prisons, to conducting a drug awareness uh, campaign, which are things I we will all agree uh, require attention. For instance, you will go to a hospital, you will find somebody bedridden for just as little as 3,000 naira, 5,000 naira, which by Allah we all know, uh, some of us here, if we bring 1,100 or 2,200, who will solve that problem? You will go to prison. Somebody has stayed in prison for five years, ten years, just because nobody has tendered a bill of 5,000 naira or 10,000 naira to an offense that probably he didn't even commit. So we felt those little gaps are what we can play a role in our own little way. May not be significant, but it's better than nothing. The same thing, we, we initiated the cemetery project when we noticed most of the dilapidated or unkept lands today in our country, unfortunately, is our home. Our home, our permanent home, which is the Mukabur, which is the cemetery. When you are passing and you see a place that is bushy, unkept, with all sort of trash around it, then you will be told that, oh, that is the community cemetery. So the same way at CMO we felt this shouldn't be what Muslims are identified with. So we, we, we have the Crystal Muslim Cemetery activity also, which we have at the moment uh, been carrying out visits to various states um, where CMO exists. To, to help clear those cemeteries. And uh, alhamdulillah, in partnership with the Kazana State Government, we are going to undertake the first Islamic model cemetery in, in Kazana, uh, thanks to our brothers and sisters in CMO Kazana that interfaced with the state government to, to achieve that. So those are some of the things we have been doing in Crystal Muslim Organization until lately when the climate change issue became a global narrative. And of course, it's a global narrative because not everybody is a Muslim, so not everybody knows what Islam stands for when it comes to tree preservation and tree planting. So we thought, okay, this is another opportunity to educate our children on the importance of tree planting, tree preservation, tree nurturing. And we started the Crystal Green Project, which is aimed at 
teaching children from elementary stage the essence of tree. And um, we, in, in fact, had donated uh, seedlings to, to, to schools and children uh, over 1,000 at this stage uh, within the first one year of our uh, starting up of the Crystal Green project. And I'm pleased to say that just this morning I was discussing with one of uh, the members in Kano and he said we need to do a Crystal Green project in Kano. So I'm sure um, our Kano members here will be up to task. So I will not bore you with uh, the story of Crystal Muslim Organization. Uh, today it's not about just Crystal Muslim Organization, it's about ACA writing competition. So I will think MC, the next person to come to stage after me should be the Director of Education. Yes. Who will tell us how they arrived at this year's 2018, I mean 2024 ACA competition, which marks the 18 years of Crystal Muslim Organization uh, preparing uh, ACA competition and bringing people like this unbroken for 18 years, which is a feat I think we should all be grateful to Allah for giving us the opportunity, the life, and the health to, to be part of. So uh, welcome once again to all our distinguished guests, very, very senior members of the public, uh, and our dear students that are here. It's an honor always to have you, and it's an honor to be given the opportunity to be on the stage to welcome you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.